Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar. I don't know about you, but Wonder Vision has me hooked. Partly because it brings that charm of the MCU after a long time, and mostly due to Easter eggs and references. Right now, the internet is swarming with fan theories, and while sifting through these glorious Easter eggs, it is likely that some things may have gone under your radar. For instance, when Dr. Darcy Lewis detects something called the cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMBR for short, also known as relic radiation which is abundantly found in the hex or maybe you did notice this and cooked up some fan theories on your own well i don't know what to make of the cmbr in the mcu but i do know that the cmbr is not an invention in the mcu but it is a real thing so without any further ado let's look at what is cosmic microwave background radiation a little disclaimer though i have tried to simplify the explanation without giving into much details and using technical jargons so consider it just a little primer. Before we begin, please take a few seconds of your time and hit the like button if you have loved this video. And if you have not done it yet, please consider subscribing. To understand CMBR, we have to look back at the past. 50 years? No. 100 years? Mm -mm. 1000 years? No. 13.7 billion years. Okay, I may have understated by calling it past. It is actually the beginning of the universe or the Big Bang. At the beginning, the universe was highly dense and had high temperature. And then the Big Bang happened, and the universe started expanding little by little. But right after that, the protons and the electrons could not combine due to the high density, and so no atoms were formed. Then we move on to approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which is merely nothing when you consider 13.7 billion years. And by this time, the universe has cooled off slightly and the density has reduced but it was considerably high density still. This allowed for the protons and the electrons to combine to form the very first hydrogen atoms, a process known as recombination. Gradually, these hydrogen atoms combined with highly charged electrons. These electrons released energy in the form of photons, a process called photon decoupling. These photons had a temperature of 4000 Kelvin and thus they would seem like pale yellow or orange or soft white in color. Now light is made up of photons. So this light would have been visible at that time, but since then it has been traveling through space for billions of years to the present time. Thus it has cooled to 2.7 Kelvin and had shifted to longer wavelengths, thus making them invisible to our naked eyes. And these photons make up the CMBR, which is essentially light or electromagnetic radiation, more like an afterglow. Actually this is present everywhere around us, but in very low amounts. So why is CMBR important? Consider why the discovery of the relics from the past or fossils are important to us. They help us to understand history, like the knowledge base we have right now about the dinosaurs. Just like that, studying CMBR helps us in understanding the universe. And in fact, CMBR provides solid evidence for the Big Bang. Secondly, scientists have found evidence of dark energy by studying CMBR, which points to an idea that the universe is not expanding at a constant rate but rather accelerating due to this dark energy. So that is briefly about the cosmic microwave background radiation. This monumental discovery was made in 1965 by American radio astronomers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. In fact, you can see this if you have an old TV that came with the antennas. The static you see in them, about 1% of it is CMBR. So that's why Darcy asked for old TVs. So thank you for watching this video, remember to like and subscribe. See you soon.